Hey, this is Brian from ConvertingEV.com. I uh, just wanted to give you guys some updates. We got a lot of exciting progress on our Toyota pickup conversion that we're using as the base for the course that we're launching on ConvertingEV.com. Uh, if you haven't heard of that, that's where we're going to be walking you through how to do a quality build for uh, the lowest budget possible using uh, modern electric vehicles from salvage yards. It wasn't really possible in the past, but it is now because they're in the salvage yards. Um, today, I've got to show you our adapter plates that I got ordered and they've shown up, we kind of laser cut. I'm gonna walk you through that real quick. And uh, first, I guess I'll show you some of the, the junk I've been pulling from the pick and pulls. I've been going to salvage yards more than I should. Let's take a look here. So, over here, just so you guys know, the uh, third gen Prius versus the second gen Prius have a little bit different angle of attack on them. Third gen is when you do it, put them both flat, the third gen sticks up a lot higher, so you may consider that for um, the angle of your car for the build. Also, I got a Prius power steering here. If you pull one of these at a salvage yard, it's really easy, easy to find, but remember to get this box. I had to go back for it. These wires connect to it under the dash. Um, you'll need this. We'll have some videos on how to set that up and use this power steering. Um, also, another tip for you. If you're trying to get a cool, uh, cooling reservoir for a uh, leaf inverter and motor or other parts, the uh, third gen inverter coolant reservoir is one of the only ones that has the right size in and out um, and a sealable cap. So this will be a perfect one. Um, I've ordered the pumps, we'll cover those in later videos. But today we got our adapter plates. So here's the leaf adapter and my Toyota 22R engine bell housing adapter. They're in half inch steel, or quarter inch steel, laser cut from Oshkut, um, and it totally fits. So, I had the bolts in a little ago. It's hard to hold the camera and show you, but boom, it's gonna be perfect. So there's one plate, and then what we're gonna be doing is, uh, I'm gonna be putting Pulsing this to the transmission, this to the leaf, and then I'll put our coupler on the shaft and line the engine up with the transmission, and then we'll weld some square tubing steel here and here, and just spot weld a couple spots so that it's all in place, then we'll pull it off both the motors and weld it all up, seal it up good, so it's good and strong. Um, so that's gonna be great, you'll watch for that. Coupler, first we're gonna be trying the shaft that came out of the gearbox, right there. Talk about that more in other videos, but it's got the splines. We're gonna chop it off right here and weld on a Toyota pickup clutch center. We'll cut that out of the clutch and weld it in there. Um, if that doesn't work, we're gonna try it again with a Toyota pickup clutch, but this time we'll use the Geo Tracker clutch plate. It's a 90s Geo Tracker, 15 bucks for the clutch. Pretty tight, not as tight as the, the stock shaft, but it's not bad. Um, but also, um, yeah, we have all kinds of parts around here. Oh, also from the scrapyard, you probably saw from my other videos, um, third gen Prius inverter plug. I thought it was super cool. It fits in the, the leaf inverter. So if you can't get the wire harness from the leaf, there you go. We got that. What else do we, did I want to show you? By the way, uh, Chevy Volt battery pack model, uh, first gen and second gen both have some really nice relays and main contactors and current sensors that work with thunder the current sensor works with thunderstruck um, with their battery uh, bms and their display um, and the main contactors we're going to reuse as our main contactors so that's gonna be cool also i just want to show you i could pull you pull up a screen recording program but i didn't don't have time for editing right now so let's do this instead um, so the my adapter plates go ahead to I'll spike click in there. I'm gonna do it one handed, sorry. Osh cut. We've got our bunch of ads. Sheesh. All right, Osh cut. They're a company in Utah. Do laser cutting. They are who I used. I priced out to have these plates cut by a, a, a local plasma, CNC plasma cutter and it was twice the price of getting it laser cut. So, laser cut it is. Anyway, so I modeled them out in Fusion 360 
I'll make these files available on my website. Especially the uh, leaf adapter is going to be a great one for you guys. But boom, there they are. And a .dxf is what we upload them as. You choose your steel. I like this one over here is the cheapest. And I did quarter inch. I was worried that that wouldn't be enough, but with steel, I've seen other people doing quarter inch for their adapter plates and it seems to work. So if you do the same material for everything, it's cheaper because they have a setup cost. And if you order everything at once, it's cheaper. So if you have other parts, they can do bending. Um, I mean, that was stainless. They can do bending. They can do bending copper for battery leads and stuff. Um, try to keep this video pretty short here, but I wanted to show you guys how this worked because it was turned out perfect. All right, so now I've got my two plates. I actually um, chose not to have them deburred because the laser cut comes out plenty clean enough for me. And uh, you can check the prices there. So that's a pretty darn good price for an adapter plate. Um, it turned out to be like a $20 shipping. They said I selected the cheapest shipping so they would take them over so they could have over a week to ship it, but they ended up shipping it and cutting it and shipping it within like two days. And it showed up uh, two days after that. So it came really fast. So that's what I was using for these plates here. It turned out great. I'm excited to try them out, do some welding on them. So you can see the laser finish. Uh, that's pretty good. There's like one burr right in there, but otherwise they're pretty solid. So everything's doing good. We're excited to show you more projects coming up.